Hi, you Mr. and Mrs. America. It's me, Ken Hamblin, the Black Avenger. In hardened anti-firearms communities, the gun is a lethal and mysterious mechanism. The mainstream media warns us daily never, never, ever to own a gun or even to allow one into your home. Unfortunately, though, <laughs> the world is a dangerous place, and for that reason, people choose to live close together in urban centers where politicians promise protection from the evil things that live in the dark and lurk in the woods. But there is no free lunch, and quid quo pro always demands tribute in return. Tribute like surrendering our constitutional rights for a promise to be fed, clothed, and to keep us safe from harm for as long as the grass grows and the water flows. Yeah. We got a whole millennial generation that buys into that. Politicians warn us that guns are dangerous and America must be compelled to surrender them and learn to live as Europeans do, unarmed and defenseless and subject to rape on the streets and the threat of home invasion where it's illegal to use, much less own a gun, to defend themselves, to defend hearth and home. Recently in Virginia, some 22,000 Americans gathered to just say no to the politicians who desire to punish us with oppressive firearms taxations, background checks, and repressive regulations. In Virginia and in New York, did you know they even want to close the shooting ranges? I'm sorry, not New York, New Hampshire. They've long been closed in places like New York City. In essence, what they're saying is, yo, you keep your silly Second Amendment and we'll make it impossible for you to use it. Insane, you say? Why would they do that? No, you got to be kidding. <laughs> it's no more insane than in New York State, where liberals have instituted a no bail policy for criminals. It's resulted in habitual criminals who mug, murder, rape, father rape and all the other things crooks do, being released back onto the streets to prey on the sheep. You're the sheep, by the way. History tells us that whenever a people are disarmed by their government, tragedy follows close behind with repression, dictatorship, slavery, and yes, even genocide. The gun is our constitutional birthright. And once that right has been wrenched or cajoled away, history further teaches us that it is unlikely to be secured again. Think about it.